Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be looking at tinted windows. Okay, so some of the things we're going to need to do this, obviously, is your window film itself. Now this stuff here is, is the budget stuff, I got it from a Chinese store um, and I've applied it to the Land Rover already as you saw in the first shot. Um, just as good to go on as, as the 3M stuff, but I don't know if it will last as long as the 3M stuff, but it is, it, it is nice, it looks good on the vehicle. So, you feel quite a bit of wind, but we'll still push on with it. Some soapy water, um, some type of soft rubber, I wouldn't suggest using a credit card because when you, when you come across uh, the, the window film it leaves scratches if there's any slight dirt or, or anything like that it will leave marks so it's best to use something soft and rubbery and this is a bit of the kitchen spatula knife which comes conveniently with the, the, the film and obviously we need to clean this glass down a bit so you, you want something to do in that something for drying it and that is going to be the first job see it's in some real poor condition and uh, typically how a 4x4 window might be so we're just going to get some of this soapy water on here give it a bit of a wipe down I think if you're doing this with your actual vehicle glass you'd be much better off using a window cleaner with a right cloth I'm just going to do this quickly the top side and then just wipe it off with a leather but obviously the better you make this job, the better your glass is going to look afterwards. Because it, if there's any like microscopic bits of dirt or anything like that, that's all going to show up in your uh, film when it's laid on afterwards. So, come on dog, wipe that down. Now that's relatively clean. Probably could do a bit of a better job with it, but for demonstration purposes, I think it's fine. Okay, so now we want our little knife. This is just a piece of table glass, but it works exactly the same, say, as a piece of Land Rover glass, because all the windows are flat. So we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a piece of window film, see what we've got. Okay, so there's a there's a piece left over. We'll use that. What you want to be careful with is not to crease it. If you get any creases in it, this stuff once it kind of folds, it, it gets a crease, and that is it. It is there. It won't come off, and it will show through, and it will look terrible. So, first off, you want to. It's really windy. It's not ideal conditions, but first off, you want to establish which uh, side is the sticky side. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can try and peel it, or the top tip, but I haven't got any to show you, <laughs> is uh, if you put a piece of masking tape on this side, masking tape off this side, peel them apart, hey presto it comes off, but we're gonna be doing it the hard way here. So the clear side is obviously the, the backing of the uh, electric of uh, the electric window of the tinted window film. So obviously the sticky side is the side we want on this side of the glass, which is the inside of the glass of the car, let's say. So what you do, you're going to get plenty of soapy water back on that glass. Now it's all nice and clean. Doesn't matter how much of this you use, and this is going to help hold the film. Uh, against the glass while we peel the backing off too. So you see that now that's nice and stuck on there. But what we'll do is as we take off the film, being careful not to crease it, you push that under, like so, a bit more so. We've got some of the backing under there. What you can do now is just come up under here, grab the other side of it, and slide, slide it off as you go like that, okay, 
and that's it. The, all the film's off. That's okay for the edge. Okay, we really that's what you want to try and avoid, but luckily that was on the edge in there. Plenty of soap back under here. Put that down. Okay, so you can see the way you handle it, it's, it, you may, it may seem like oh, I'm not doing a very good job here, when you, the way you, that you handle it and you're worried. Even sticking back on itself, that's it's not ideal, but that's fine. So let's, we'll put it in the top corner so you can see when you're cutting all the way around. Go away, dog. Okay, now, the film's on. We need to get the water out from inside, which is where the handy little uh, kitchen spatula rubber. Now, I found it doesn't really matter how you do this. But you see there, look, you're just pushing the water out from behind. I think it's, it seems to work best if you work your way around like that. Um, rather than sort of going in lines. And the idea is here, we want to get it flat, but we want know to avoid air bubbles and you see this is so soft that it's not scratching at all the glass or the film let's say you know and I should work my way around like that and there was a crease in this film when I first started and you can uh, that will, I can show you now what it looks like if you do make that mistake So you just work your way around. Now that's going to be pretty well stuck at the moment. We still want to make sure we've got definitely everything out from behind. At this stage, it would be pretty difficult to uh, get the film back off. So you want to make sure you get it right now. If you put that up on an edge and push it, you'll see that you can get those extra bits of air out. Now, the handy little knife that they gave you, um, what you do here is you just get it on the edge of the film, you want to get it started and then just run it across it. It's so easy to cut. Oh, we've got a little bit of a drama going on here. But see if you just did... So that's one edge done, it's perfectly straight because I use the glass as the guide. Same over here. Seems to be a bit tricky getting it started sometimes. Then obviously you want to keep your blade at the same angle all the way around. I mean, all the air's out. Top tip here: you can use a wiper blade off your car, especially off a Land Rover. It's about the right size. You just make sure, sure you've got all of that water out from behind. Okay. And that is it. That is the job pretty much finished. And it should look, being careful how you touch it, it should look something like that then. The other side was still a bit dirty, but I can't wipe that off. And it should look at the end something like that. And it's ready to go. Now, like I said, it can take up to a week. They Some people say two weeks for it to cure. But depending on the weather, really, I mean, we're in a really hot place here. That's going to dry. That's going to be done in a couple of days. With the heat in the car and the sun on it all day, that will be dry in a couple of days. But until then, you'd have to be careful about how you went about it. Because if you look, it still will come up very easily. And that you don't want to happen. See now look, if I don't have the water in there, you can see look, now you get bubbles. It's key to have the soapy water. Use the soapy water from the beginning. If it doesn't have the soapy water, it's gonna come out terrible with air bubbles everywhere. This is the way to eliminate the air bubbles with this. So, 
thanks for watching my video. Um, I hope it's going to be helpful to somebody. Uh, these are useful tips, and you know, this could be done. You go in a shop and you probably pay someone two or three hundred pounds to do this. But I'm sure that most people have got a lever, uh, a sponge, and uh, some some washing up liquid to get going. You can do the you can do the windows on the vehicle if you're not keen to take the door cards off and do it yourself. You you can be done on the vehicle. It's a little bit more faffing around, and you need to be a bit more a little bit more cute, let's say, with a Stanley knife, but it can be done. I did the back windows on the Land Rover, still on the vehicle, but it's so easy to get the front door cards off and do this. You just take the glass out, it's flat, it's super easy. I just took them in the house and I did them. I let them dry overnight in the house and put them back on the car in the day. You can put them back in the same day if you're a bit careful. And uh, that, uh, that's it. And then you've got uh, you've got tinted windows for seven euro. And it probably is what's going to take you an hour as an hour's work. It's so quick and easy to do. If it was a bit difficult here because of the wind. You wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily have that. So yeah. Okay. So if you like the video, please uh, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe and share. There's plenty more videos to come. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.